We're in the Seagate Amusement Park. This is probably my favorite place in Arkham. In the entire series? Yeah. This is actually my favorite Joker thug in the whole series. People don't know the lore behind him. <laughs> what is the lore behind him? They call him Pink Eye Petey. <laughs> Where'd he get the pink eye? We can't talk about that. <laughs> Let's just say Joker was into some weird stuff back then. Back oh. then, no business being like this hot. Do the clothesline, oh my gosh. Joker's got my father. No, Joker specifically said he'd kill him if Batman showed up. If anything happened to him, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, Barb. You got this. It's gonna be all right. How can you be so sure? Kind of bothers me that uh, Tim Drake is not Canadian. So what's this all about then, eh? For one, Robin's a good luck. Why is he bald in this, too? <laughs> he's got like a Tim Hortons cup as he's up on there, too. It's an inclusivity <laughs> thing. Did he just never grow hair over the course of the years, or...? He's got alopecia. It's uh, really a nod to Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh oh, sorry. Which is very cool, so. I love inclusivity. <laughs> really upset Robin was white, though. Not gonna lie. That's a little bit of a. Uh, I'm point. really upset that Tim Drake in this game is straight. Yeah, why is Tim Drake with a woman? I just don't think it fits his character at all. No, I don't either. And if some douchebag YouTuber ever says it does, I'm gonna kill that guy. We should guy. kill that guy, yeah. <laughs> Let's just destroy him. That guy sucks. Even though he read more comics than me. No, oh, I don't sorry think so. about that. That, that doesn't matter. Whoops. Shut up, dude. Whoops. Why did they make the weird decision, by the way, to make Tim Drake and Barbara a thing in this continuity? Huh? No, I'm just wondering, because, like, they aren't in anything else, I don't think. So, like, who decided that? I'm leaving. <laughs> we'll go <going> somewhere. <laughs> Dad, this one's on you, man. Yes. Chili? Chili Chad. Ch child. Ch child. Child. Labor. Uh, uh. That's four letters. We need to make that's hood. It's hood. Okay, good. It's hood. All right. Okay. But I'm really doing this for the benefit of the family. Think of me as Papa Bird, lovingly pushing you from the nest. You either spread your wings and fly! I hit the ground and die. This genuinely, I'm turning it up a little bit so you can see the suit better. This is actually one of my favorite Batgirl suits. Keep in mind, I brightened the entire screen, so yeah, it's going to yeah. look worse. But um, this is one of my favorite Batgirl suits ever, like in anything. Yeah, I, I really like this one a lot, too. It's super look, detailed. Look at the cute little bat that's like holding her cape together. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so that look, she has dope. a bat holding the cape together. She's got a unique bat symbol there. There's a bat built into the belt, which is think, really cool. Do you think she designed it herself? Look at this. There are bats. Who knows? There are bats like the designed the into shoes. the knees yeah. of the shoes. She's got a really good body. There's a bat built into the butt. <laughs> also got a Brazilian blowout for her hair, so that's why it's got oh. so much volume in it and why it bounces every time she walks. I thought you were going somewhere else. I, I want her to give me a Brazilian blowout, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I want one. Never got a permit. An oil baron built it for his five-year-old daughter. When she died, he disappeared, and the project fell apart. Now there's you two knuckleheads spoiling my game. My game! Not funny. I like the overkill of an RPG, and then he still couldn't get him. Yeah, I know. I know. He did his best. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing. It, it can wait. Watch yourself out there. Ditto. So is he, like, trying to, like, weasel in his little crush here on her, too? Like this No, they're together. Earlier? They're still together. Oh, wait, no, this was... This was in the past, I suppose. Yeah, this so is maybe in the past, they aren't so... together yet, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought they were only together, like, after she got, like, you know, handicapped. No, yeah, well, actually... I just Maybe thought that's he had a good question. Fetish. Yeah, that's. <gasps> well, yeah. He was clearly into her even now. But for sure. For that sure. just really took things to a new level. For I yeah. just think it'd be really funny if in this DLC he was like not into her at all and he was like actually kind of mean to her, but then as soon as she got paralyzed, he was like, so Barbara. He had like a. What, what is it? The, the I can fix her complex? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except that's her legs, I guess. But he didn't like how independent she was here. Yeah, the hard hat area. Go on. That's because we're playing as a girl, so it's everything's gonna be hard. <laughs> when the DC animated, not the uh, not the DCAU, 
but the DC AMU, the movie universe with like, uh, you know, the Apocalypse War and things like that. When those movies were coming out, I still looked forward to those movies. I still liked those movies, but I would much rather have them just kept going with the DCAU. Mm -hmm. Like there was so much that they could continue to do with that. And everybody uh, loved that. And everybody loves it. Mark, uh, Kevin Conroy is always down to play Batman. I'm sure you could get Mark Hamill to come back for some fun episodes. You could get Tim Daly or even, um, I forget, the other guy who played him after Tim Daly in the animated series. But there's, there's so many things that you could still do with that. So like with this, I feel like they, I, in Rocksteady's defense, in the games that they did, I think they fit so much content in order to make a fluid story that makes a lot of sense. But also, they could have made five or six of these games yeah. and gone in a million different directions. The problem is, I think, is they were trying to keep things tight and a playable story that could appeal to the public, which they did masterfully, in my opinion. Mm. But I do think that there is so much to explore and that they could have done two or three more games worth of content. And that's what's kind of sad is and they've kind of just taken a step back and gone in completely different directions of Batman, where all of these characters they spent four games developing. You yeah. know, it's just I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of, a lot of stuff that they really could have pursued, especially with the dynamic of, with Bruce being gone now. Ah, here we go. There was a point to it. Starro. Yes. Yeah, you showed me this. Um, you showed me this when we played this a little bit for footage one time, and then. There's like also Starro, like Captain at Tank. Right? There no, no, don't talk about that. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Oh, yeah. So I kind of feel like this was so popular too because it was so inspired by the animated series and stuff. Yes. And people loved that. It stuff. was originally kind of an offshoot of it. And it really was. You hear that noise? Yeah. yeah. It's like a high pitched shrieking. I believe this is one of the only places you hear that noise. I think it's a unique sound effect. I've never heard it anywhere That's else. That's so interesting. Starro! That's so scary. And you get closer, and the sound is louder. It's so cool. And yet, they could have made another game and had him in the game. Oh, Justice League. I mean, he very clearly was, like, here for, for a Justice League game. You just... All, here's all you need. Listen to this. This is why this pisses me off. Monolith Wonder Woman in this universe. Yeah. Just do it. I don't know if it is or not. Who knows? But I'm just saying, think about it. Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor gameplay, but Wonder Woman mm -hmm. in this universe. Mm -hmm. Set earlier super, or later. Yeah. Don't care. Then make a Su Superman game. Superman. Good. In. And then, obviously, you have all the Batman games. And then, of course, you have what they're doing with Suicide Squad. And then you just take Gotham Knights. You rework it to work into this universe after Nightfall. Boom. Done. Then what can you do eventually? Lead into Batman Beyond. You know, this is something I've talked about before. Not with Damian Wayne. I don't want Damian Wayne Batman no. Beyond, but Terry. And if they added in, like, a little bit of a Green Lantern game or DLC and something, and a little bit of an Aquaman Make the movie thing. canon! Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no. And added in, like, a little bit of an Aquaman thing. Then they have, like pretty much almost the entire Justice League, I think, right? Yes. Like, aside from, like, The Flash, I'm which like they could also to... tie in there. Could have made, like, a really incredible, like, MCU kind of, like, universe, but in video games, and it yeah. would be awesome. And the MCU, the Marvel can't do that in games. No, so, like, so... DC could have made that their thing. It's, like, video game universe. It could have been awesome. Literally, can you imagine that? A, a DC been. video game universe, but, like, the with the quality of writing... Of you have the Arkham games as the backbone, and then the DCAU type ah, inspiration for everything. It'd be incredible uh, games. That's a good idea. I'd like to make a couple more top fives in the near future because I've been kind of missing it. I don't want to. I don't want to like do it as much as I was. There were people like really annoying me about the Arkham stuff because it was always like, only cover Arkham, only play Arkham, only do this, only do that. It's like, dude. That's boring. That the other stuff I want to do. That and makes the games not as fun. Like I want these games to be fun. They're special to yeah. me. They're not like, it's not like uh, the McDonald's or the mac and cheese of you. You know what I mean? The dollar mac and cheese box. These games are special to me. Right. And one of the saddest things is there's not enough content to keep doing that for like a really long time. Genuinely, I will say it hurt my feelings a little bit too that some people acted like that was the only thing I had of value to bring to the table on YouTube. But I think a lot of people, YouTube yeah, itself, you know? and also viewers. Not all of them, but a lot of people expect you to milk something to death, then go away. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. So it's like milk something to death, then die. Not like physically, but <laughs> yeah, right. do something else. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if you're doing YouTube or not. Just give me what I want, and then I'm gone. It's in. You can expect that from streaming services and stuff. Fine. I understand that to an extent of like I'm only interested in house. Oh my gosh, go into go into uh, detective awesome. mode. <laughs> go into detective mode. That guy's like she's, really excited she, to see she her. She like she lays down and she's like, uh, Tim, I'm gonna need you to go. 
<laughs> need a bucket and a mop. Dude. Imagine if you loved ten things and somebody said, yeah, 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 shut up about that, though. I want to hear about this. And that's all they cared about. It does hit a point for you where you're like... It ruins it. That kind of affects my enjoyment of that yeah. thing. Like, don't you want me to still enjoy that thing? Right. So that when I right. do talk about it, it's good, because... And don't you care about anything I have to say other than that? I guarantee to you, if I had only done Arkham, you know how there was, like, a stretch of probably six months where that was just my thing? Mm -hmm. If I still only did that, like, two and a half years later or two years later, the videos would be shit. Oh, I bet. Because yeah. I wouldn't care. You would have got burnt out. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question. I either would have been gone, or they would have been garbage. Or both. <laughs> probably both. <laughs> yeah. They probably would have slowly degraded into garbage, and then I'd be gone. And you look at these people, I guarantee you, because I do talk to YouTubers behind the scenes and stuff like that. You talk to people who cover only one thing, which I have, most of them are sick of that thing. I They bet. fake it. They fake it. Like, it's inauthentic. Not everybody, but a lot of people. Like, unless they're uploading once a month... They're sick of it too. Like they really are. I was going to say that I just I do think of that as a genuine shame that there was so much stuff they could have done with this and then they just kind of dropped the ball and didn't. Because a little unorthodox. No, you can talk about it, it's just a bomb thing. Oh. Do you want to talk more about my channel though? Oh. I'm just leading into this. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because if they had continued really when I go back and I look at my Spider-Man uh, kind of top fives, the first two, I disagree with me. Like when I said like, I actually like the way they wrote Mary Jane in this when the first time I played it. Dude, the second and third time I played that game, she is insufferable. I really? Hate her. I'm like, why did I like her? She's annoying. She constantly causes his problems for him. She almost got a bunch of people killed. Like we, at that one gala. We deep dived into the psychology of it and we found out that you used to date girls who were just like what? her and that's why you like Wait, her. Well, that's true. And then you met me and you realized what a normal person was like and you were like, oh, so people aren't supposed to be like borderline abusive. Um. Well, it's not Foud. Fauci. <laughs> fraud. I'm beginning to think that T is a little bit dumb. There we Joker, go. You're a fraud. <laughs> We're in. Finding a prospective partner is never easy for birds. Robinson Matt solved this problem by meeting a crime infested and charming each other with wild displays of love and Like, I'm not, like, oh man, five reasons why. Tim Drake's butthole is the stretchiest. Like, you, don't <laughs> yeah. need, you don't need that in your life. Like you don't. I well, I mean, okay, maybe sorry. that's a bad example. Sorry, but, uh, last Bernard. Yeah. I just think it's interesting that they chose Tim Drake in particular to make gay. When I kind of feel like don't say Jason. I kind of feel like Nightwing was more flexible on that front. I'm just saying, like, like I know that he's always been canonically straight, but like, if they were gonna make somebody who was canonically straight be gay, and I think it would have made the most sense to make it Nightwing, because he has like. Joe, I can't say this, but you're bi, right? Yeah. You're bisexual. So say this, but don't tell them it came from me. Who would wear those kinds of shorts back in the day if they weren't gay? Like, who would wear those kind of shorts back in the day if they weren't gay? He just seems like the most I know, flexible. Right? Okay. I would totally agree. I mean, whoa. <laughs> he like he seemed like you bi serious, you know? Like I I'm know. just saying. I know. I think we can get up higher. And honestly, I mean Dick Grayson, I'm not gay, but that mullet was nice. I, I might I be a little bi curious nice too. People, under can, the right circumstances. people can disagree with me on it, but no. to to me, Nightwing seemed a little bit kind of like Harley in that front, where she kind of seems oh, take care of that. Behind she seems you. a little bi curious, and I wouldn't oh, yes. be too uh, offended or. Like upset if somebody decided to change that sexuality in a different continuity. My problem is I'm never offended. I'm more just like, oh, so you don't want to build up a new character. Yeah, that's also what bothers me is I don't like when they don't want to build up new characters. I liked when they changed continuities kind of and they built up Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn more when they were already hetero flexible characters and they made them canonically bisexual. Yes. Just like um, with some other things that I like because you need to build up sexuality over time a lot of times is. You know, a lot of people wait, wait. don't know how happy I am that you will get to see the park before we officially open to the public. You should know that all this you see around you comes from our talks in the hospital. Daddy was paying attention, and he used your drawings for inspiration. When I showed them to my friend, Dr. Quinzel, she said you were a very talented little girl, and that I was a very lucky father. Don't I know it? 
Ooh, I didn't realize that was what was going to happen there. Right, you, Julie, you were just saying that they need to build that kind of stuff up, not just yeah. drop it like a bomb. But I was also going to say that a lot of times um, people kind of find out their sexuality more when they're like a teenager to early 20s sort oh, of people thing. People got mad at me when I said that. And so it made sense, in my opinion, for somebody very young and impressionable like Harley Quinn to start figuring herself out as a woman, you know, and it would make sense to me if somebody had a continuity where Nightwing was kind of young and he started fi- figuring himself out as, you know, somebody that maybe was into both, you know, that would make more sense to me rather than just being like, ah, oh, well, Tim Drake's already established and stuff. Let's just have him like break up with Stephanie, you know, just cause I want him to be with like a pink haired dude who's like super gay. Oh, that's, I think that's Superman's boyfriend, the pink haired one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who cares? Sorry. They are pretty similar though. <clears throat> I don't know, I guess I just found that a little bit annoying. It's like, it didn't seem like they took the time to actually write it in an interesting way, or in a way that seemed respectful of real people's um, relationships with sexuality. Because it is a very uh, hard thing for a lot of people to go through. And not only, not only that, but it's something that is very specific to that person when they're growing up, you know? it. it kind of just happens when they're getting older and they're like, you know, I really like like this thing, but I kind of feel like I shouldn't and I don't, I'm like confused, you know? It's that sort of thing where they don't really know for a long time. It's not just a, a switch flips and they're like, okay, I'm gay now. You know, it's something that builds up over time because sexuality is more of a fluid thing rather than a let's just flip a switch sort of thing. Well, that's what happens when you start retconning things from established characters that have been around for decades is it's almost never done well, no matter what it is. Like, when is it done well? Almost never. But, it's just how it is, like, but, and they do that all the time. But then these same people who are writing these same characters are like, oh yeah, but gender is on a spectrum and gender is a very fluid thing, you know? You don't just flip a switch and decide one day that you want to be a man. You know, you, it's a very fluid thing. Sometimes you can be something different, but then they act like it's completely different with sexuality. Well, the, what what it really is is money. That's true. That's all it really is. I mean, it's like, hey, look, we're losing money. We're not getting the sales we used to. What if we branch out to this crowd? That's all it is. And it's easier to branch out to that crowd with like, let's make Robin like you, than let's give you a new Robin. No, no, T's a huge fan of Bernard. It's his favorite DC character. I absolutely adore Bernard. Anyone? You got doesn't... anything you want to say? No, no I do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, this is not going well for you. No, dude, well, I... Oh, well, well that's, <laughs> that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> it's just boring. Disgusting. It's just boring to make everything about how somebody's hateful or bigoted or whatever just because they didn't like a comic or I can't didn't like this that, or that. I can't believe that Degenerate J right now is, like, actually telling us how much of, like, a homophobe, racist, transphobic, like, going. all of these other xenophobic you a things <laughs> I'm a that he more. is... White I'm a supremacist, okay, let's gun keep it up. loving Republican. Okay, more. I need more. NRA enthusiast. I'm at like 90% mass right now. <laughs> I'm about to finish. Let's keep going. Uh, Can I get a few more? Ah, uh, what else? What else? I'm also a black supremacist. A Muslimophobe? Uh, it's Islamophobe. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be waking up extra early to get a to be a hater. So. I'll let you in on a little secret. This is the most trouble I've ever gone to for anyone. It really is. And why? Because I'm concerned, deeply concerned. You see, Batman hasn't been himself these past few months. If he's not late, he's exhausted. If he's not exhausted, he's preoccupied, making all kinds of silly mistakes. I believe they call it baby brain. Best way to cure baby brain is to get rid of the babies. (laughs) He's pro abortion. (laughs) Oh yeah That's a political stance Queen Dude Like you can't tell me You can't tell me I'm hateful Or I'm this or that If I want to support These characters When you make them But you won't do anything With them I literally went out Bought the steel book For Jon Stewart Green Lantern The new movie I believe it's Beware My Power Yes I haven't even watched it yet Heard it's bad A lot of people hated it Really? Guess what? I knew that going in. I still bought it because I wanted more Jon Stewart content. Man, what a racist, horrible homophobe. Yeah, it's disgusting what a what dick. Do. Yeah. They make something that they never make, like let's say the Jon Stewart Green Lantern, and then it comes out really bad, so people don't buy it because it's bad, but they decide, ah, oh, people just don't like Jon Stewart's Green Lantern. Let's never make that again. They're right. 
It's because he's black. That's why no one bought it. It's like, no, people want that Green Lantern. They just no. want it to be good. No, they saw it and they're like, ew, ew, no, I'm not buying that. They didn't care that it was badly written. It's not that. I mean, it's. I don't know why Get Out was popular. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe people saw it. They're like, oh, man, I'm going to be racist in the theater. So that's why they want to see it. Anyway, he can start talking now. No, he can't. But also, I wanted to say. <laughs> I don't right. think you can make this joke. I can make the joke. I bought the Steelbook Day One. Oh, <laughs> I have really tried to limit my time on the internet, and I'm such a happier person because of it. I think it's tough with you guys. Free tea. Yeah, because you because you guys have to be on the internet, and this is your income. This is your living. So you look at your Fair comment way. section and go on Twitter, and you see all these things of arguably the dumbest human beings of all time just marinating in a nice pool of dumb <laughs> all day long. Marinating. And that's what you guys read and see all day long. I watch silly YouTube videos and sports. You're an elevated and, being. And, I, and by no means am I saying that I am smarter or, or like way better off for it. But I, I watch really dumb things that make me happy and I feel happy about it. You know I what I mean? I kind of think you're a happier person than most people because of that, to be honest. Did you enjoy this video? Well, there's plenty more over on Degenerate Plays, where we play through all kinds of video games together. That's our Let's Play channel. We hang out, have fun, laugh, talk, love, cry. The drama is all there. If you've ever said, and you would be the only person in the world, hey, I want a Degenerate J podcast, well, 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 this is where we hang out podcast style, playing games, making jokes, talking about serious stuff as well and just hanging out on the couch with each other. So come on over and hang out with us on Degenerate Plays. The link is in the description down below. Or if you're interested in a more condensed experience, there is also a playlist of Degenerate Plays best ofs here on Degenerate J for you to check out. Hope you'll enjoy it and have a fantastic day.